Solve with this internet shit. Scrabble TV. Good morning, shitties, and welcome to another episode of Celebrity Shit Show. Today on the show we have... Yeah, Brooke Muller? Can't remember the second one. Damn it. Alexander Ball. Something Jackson. Uh, Brandon T. Jackson. And, and Kesha. Thank you. Someone has to remember this shit for today's Celebrity Shit! <laughs> Brooke Mueller is coming for Charlie Sheen, who called her a whore, drug addict, and terrible parent on TMZ. TMZ received a subpoena from Brooke's lawyers, ordering them to preserve the video and audio interviews they did with Charlie last Friday. Charlie said Brooke has damaged their twins emotionally to the point they're on the verge of getting kicked out of school. He says every time the kids visit with Brooke, they come home completely freaked out and suffer from night terrors. Charlie just wants his children to live the lifestyle they're accustomed to when at his home, and keeps it strict. Only three Asian hookers, two ounces of prison quality meth, homework, ketamine, then it's off the bed. Celebrity shit show. Tropic Thunder star Brandon T. Jackson claims he was escorted off an airplane and questioned by police after flipping out on a flight attendant who called him the N-word. Jackson, who also plays Grover in the Percy Jackson movies, says he was on a U.S. Airways flight when a flight attendant named D approached him and asked him to sit down. The two argued and Jackson claims a flight attendant said, I don't care if you're Obama's son, get in your seat. Jackson says the flight attendant also called him the N-word. Jackson says he was later escorted off the plane and questioned by police in Phoenix. U.S. Airways later settled out of court when Jackson got two bags of Funyuns, pineapple soda, a three-piece, and minutes for his cell phone. Racist. <laughs> Celebrity shit show. Baywatch star Alexandra Paul has just been ordered by a judge not to harass her stalker. In 2011, Nicole Albrecht, a German citizen, and her eight-year-old brother knocked on Alexandra's door at her home in Pacific Palisades and asked to use the bathroom. Short time later, Nicole showed up with a gift to thank Alexandra for the hospitality, but that wasn't the end. Alexandra says Nicole showed up three more times in a week. Later on, Nicole started showing up at Alexandra's gym and nearby pool. At that point, Alexandra and her husband went to court and got a restraining order against Nicole. So Nicole went to court and got a restraining order against Alexandra, prohibiting the Baywatch star from harassing, intimidating, molesting, attacking, striking, stalking, threatening, assaulting, hitting, or abusing her at the cement pond. The judge also ordered that Nicole stalk somebody relevant. How about that Dana Plato from Different Strokes? Oh, right. What, it's too soon? Die. Celebrity shit show. Kesha, the sexy yet crazy singer trying to stay relevant, thinks her ghostly lover may have gotten stuck on her TikTok of a VJJ. On Jimmy Kimmel Live, she stated that she might need a rather specific kind of exorcism. She said, so I was told I had dead people living in me, so I called my hypnotherapist, of course. So then she said she had to exercise my body. And then I got a ghost meter to read it and it just beeped at my vagina. We here at the shit show believe it was probably a Rolex left by a rapper inside that cavernous Venus flytrap. Kesha said, it seemed to be accurate because I've been going through a dry spell and it was like beeping all around and it makes sense now. I had a couple experiences with the supernatural, said Kesha. I don't know his name. He was a ghost. I'm very open to it. Yes, Ketcha, we sure you are very open to it. And the entire starting line of every football team ever. <laughs> well, that's all the shit we have for now. So please tune in next time for another edition of Celebrity Kesha Vagina Shit. <laughs>